Victory Heat Rally is a new arcade racer being developed by Sky Devil Palm and published by Platonic Friends. This gorgeous looking arcade racer is hopping onto PC on October 3rd, 2024 and this one has been cooking for quite a while. So one of the coolest things about this is that it reminds me of, uh, I believe, what is it, Sega Drift? I, it, there's this like Sega arcade game that kind of has the same camera angles and mechanics. It looks like upon further uh, discovery and research, it looks like the game is called Power Drift. I'm a fake retro gamer. Victory Heat Rally has that really cool like Game Boy Advanced color palette and sprite art. The game looks beautiful in motion and in screenshots. And it plays really good too. The drifting controls, which is the main mechanic here, is excellent. There's a wide cast of drivers to choose from and you can customize the cars right before you go into the race. From this, you can probably improve its speed, acceleration, power, or handling. I myself am a power and drifting kind of guy. I don't like it when it takes too long to get into my drift because by that point, I don't want to be banging in the walls and sometimes I can oversteer a lot. This is probably one of the better arcade racers that have been released this year. I previously played Parking Garage Valley Circuit, which is a great game, especially for its price. It's short, but packing on with the content. Victory Heat Rally has a few modes that you can choose from. You have the Grand Prix Tour, you have the Arcade Mode, which allows you to pick a cup and then go through its respective courses against AI racers. And then of course, no arcade racer is complete without a proper split screen mode. While I got this game early, thanks to the publisher Platonic Friends, I didn't have any buddies with me at the time to play some co-op, and I've went through some few courses on arcade, but the real like meat and potatoes here of what you're going to be playing as a single player experience is the Grand Prix mode. The Grand Prix mode has three tours to choose from, one initially and you'll unlock the other two as you progress through the races. And each tour has three cups. Before you actually get to the World Cup of that stage, you have to do some previous races. And these courses are going to be in the final Grand Prix of their cups, if I'm making sense here. When you take on the Grand Prix of the respective cup, you will go up against a rival. You won't unlock the rival from beating the cup, but if you have proper, what is it, I believe they're called victory points, you can unlock a race where you have a rival race, and if you beat your rival, then you unlock them. There are also fun challenges that each cup has. Some of these include drifting through very small cones. Others involve passing cars without hitting them, because if you hit them, you're going to send them straight to the International Space Station, and you're going to hear them all the way. My favorite one was the slalom one. I don't know, I'm just a big fan of slalom challenges. I hope I'm saying that right. And it's really fun when you're like doing it in like these really cutesy chibi cars. There's something fun about it. Victory Heat Rally also has two types of races. So there's your traditional circuit where you'll go through a course multiple laps. Sometimes it'll be three, sometimes it'll be four. Some courses even have five laps. There are also rally races where you'll actually have, yes, your very own assistant to call out the upcoming turns. I mean, what are you doing, my friend? Uh, these rally ones are really fun because you still have other cars in the track which should not be there for a rally, but hey, whatever. It adds a little bit of intensity to the rally races. Both types of races are going to be included in the Grand Prix. And when you beat all three tours, you get the Ultimate Tour, which composes of almost all the tracks. Well, I shouldn't say almost all the tracks, but a lot of the tracks that you've been racing in. You'll always switch off between a circuit or a rally. Most cups will not have just a straight circuit or a rally run. The playable characters here are fun to choose from, each one with their own special characteristics. I myself played as a bunch as Pepe, because who doesn't like a luchador behind their favorite car named Rana, which is frog in Spanish. As you complete races with characters, you unlock colors for their respective cars. You'll have to do a lot of races though to unlock these colors, so this will probably be like the last thing that you unlock if you're going for a 100% run. And the courses here are amazing. Like just looking at these things is so cool. You'll go anywhere from a beach to a weird castle. Like where is this from anyways? It really reminds me a lot of Princess Peach's castle from Mario Kart GP. And then you have these jungle levels and then you had juxtaposed to that, you have military compounds. 
Like you're all over the place, but each ones are really fun, including their nice twists and turns. Sometimes you'll even have cool straightaways. My favorite part is always hitting a massive jump where you're just like flying over the competition. Victory Heat Rally is an incredibly fun arcade racer and I've been drawn to it ever since I saw a few promos of it on Twitter. The art style really drew me in, but then once I really got my hands on it, that's where I knew the deal was sealed. It plays incredibly well. It's got few button inputs, you got gas, you got drift, and you got brake. And rear view if you want to see how close someone is to your ass. But like I said, it reminded me a lot of Power Drift from back in the arcade, and this feels like it's spiritual sequel. Sky Devil Palm really knocked it out of the park with this one, and I really feel like they understand what it's like to play a retro arcade racer in 2024. They really pushed the envelope on what I think an arcade racer should be, not only in the terms of gameplay, which is simplistic still, but it feels so good to play, but the visuals, my gosh, like the, it's the popping colors, the sound too. The soundtracks are bumping. You're gonna feel that blood course through your veins. It's it's bumping. It's good. I'm a big fan of it. Medium right. Jump. Medium left. Medium right. Victory Heat Rally will be releasing on October 3rd on PC via Steam. And also on the Nintendo Switch via the eShop. Thanks again to Platonic Friends for giving me an early key. And if you want to play the game for yourself, there is a Steam link on the description below. First line, you can't miss it. If you like the review, consider leaving a like and subscribing for some more retro and indie gaming content. If you're feeling really generous today, considering leaving a tip on coffee. Every dollar helps and all of it will go back into the channel to improve quality. Thanks again homies and I'll see you in the next one.